Hey welcome friends and uh, this video is going to be very important because uh, in this video I am going to discuss about the reaction mechanism of the coordination met, uh, metal compounds and uh, as you know uh, there are two kind of coordination metal compounds so one is square planar and another one is octahedral <coughs> and they follow different kind of mechanism so uh, when we talk about the mechanism of the ligand substitution reaction in the square planar complex, they generally follow the associative mechanism that is one ligand is attached to the square planar complex to form a uh, five coordinated uh, complex. Uh, either it can be uh, a square pyramidal or it can be a trigonal bipyramidal complex and then the dissociation of ligand occurs and new ligand is uh, entered into the complex to give you the product. Now in this regard the most important thing is the trans effect and you should definitely read that thing from any good book because this is a very important topic. And when we talk about the ligand substitution reaction in the octahedral complex it generally follow two type of mechanism that is either it can be associative or it can be dissociative. For a dissociative mechanism what happens is that first one ligand is detached from the complex to give you a five coordinated complex it can be a trigonal bipyramidal or it can be a square pyramidal complex and then the new ligand comes into the co uh, complex to give you the octahedral product or it can be uh, uh, the uh, another mechanism can be the dissociative uh, uh, so, uh, sorry this is the dissociative mechanism another mechanism can be the associative mechanism where uh, the extra ligand comes to the octahedral complex to give you a hepta coordinated complex that complex may be a, a, a pentagonal bipyramidal complex and then it will dissociate to give you uh, the desired product but uh, these things are uh, easy things and you can read it from any book in this video i am going to discuss about the effect of acid and base on the ligand dissociation reaction of the octahedral complex because this is a very important topic and most of the questions in competitive exams are generally asked from this topic so uh, let us start today's topic So, uh, uh, when we talk about the effect of acid or base uh, in any ligand substitution reaction, we can always compare it with the organic reactions because uh, as, you, uh, as you all know that uh, organic substitution reaction, the SN1 and SN2 reactions, they are facilitated when you uh, do some acid or base catalysis. For example, when you have a tertiary alcohol like this, you cannot do a substitution reaction on the substrate. Uh, without doing acid catalysis when you do acid catalysis what happens is that this acid catalysis makes this bad living group OH to a good living group H2O plus it then dissociate to give you the carbocation and then your uh, any nucleophile can attack on that to give you the substitution reaction the same principle is applied for uh, your coordination metal complex what happens for coordination complex is that in your coordination metal complex when you have some ligand which poses lone pair for example halogen F, uh, F minus or Cl minus which poses lone pair they can bind with uh, some metal ion for example Ag plus uh, Ag plus etc or normal acid catalysis H plus they can bind and that binding will make this metal ligand bond weak and that's, that will facilitate the ligand substitution reaction. For example, uh, when you have this particular complex, let's say you have this chromium complex, chromium uh, penta aqua uh, fluoro complex, overall uh, 2 positive, that is in this case chromium is a tri positive. Now when you do this reaction, equation of this reaction, without the presence of uh, any acid or base, the reaction occurs to give you the chromium hexa aqua complex and this A minus but this reaction is very slow but if you put some acid catalysis in this reaction the reaction becomes very much faster it is 100 to 1000 time faster when you uh, do some uh, uh, do some uh, catalysis by acid so what is the mechanism of this reaction so whenever you put acid in this reaction what happens is that you know this fluorine poses lone pair of electrons and it can bind with this acid so basically this binding will make uh, in this case the living group is hf rather than f minus 
and that in turn weaken this metal fluorine bond so when you do this acid catalysis this metal fluorine bond is weakened and it will favor the dissociation of this bond that's why the rate of the reaction increases now what is the evidence that that the reaction is occurring in this particular way so that can be proved by considering a complex let's say you have a complex where you have uh, the same complex where you have five water molecule but instead of fluorine now you have ammonia molecule so now the complex will be 3 plus so in this case if you do acid catalysis there is no difference in the rate of the reaction because you can see in this case there is no free electron available as the case of fluoride because ammonia it's all the lone pairs are involved in the bonding the three lone pairs are already by, uh, involved in the bonding with the NH bond and the another electron is uh, donated to this metal so there is no further electron to accommodate the proton uh, 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 during the acid catalysis so this this is why the reaction uh, rate will not increase and this proves that indeed the mechanism of ac uh, acid catalysis reaction follow this pathway now this is the case of uh, catalysis by acid now what about the ca catalysis by base so uh, in organic chemistry when you uh, uh, read about the acid, uh, base catalyzed uh, nucleophilic substitution reaction the base what it generally do is uh, uh, it deprotonate the nucleophile to increase the nucleophilicity of the nucleophile uh, and that in turn uh, increase the rate of the reaction but in a coordination metal complex uh, the catalysis by base is something different for example let's say you have a complex of cobalt uh, pentaamine uh, cobalt pentaamine uh, chloro complex overall it is again 2 plus and this reaction when it is done without uh, any acid or base the reaction occurs to give you this complex but in this case what happens is that the reaction is very slow okay so actually uh, actually the final product will be where you uh, this uh, first this uh, OH will come but at the end uh, it will uh, be like OH and not H2O plus so overall 2 plus charge will be there so basically this reaction works but it is a very slow reaction but whenever you put some base catalysis let's say simple base OH minus sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide the same reaction occurs and in this case the reaction is million fold uh, faster so what is the reason for this increasement of this reaction now whenever you uh, do the kinetic study of this reaction it is found that the rate uh, of this reaction so rate of this reaction is directly propor proportional to the concentration of uh, OH minus so in this case the rate equation will be like this okay so it is directly proportional to the concentration of this OH minus now uh, by looking at this uh, reaction rate only one can think that uh, the reaction occurs in such a way the associative way that is I already discussed that octahedral complex uh, can undergo the ligand substitution reaction in associative way Associ associative way means first the base uh, the OH minus will coordinate here to give you the hepta coordinate complex for example in this case NH35OH and Cl overall it will be plus so uh, it can first form this hepta coordinate complex and then uh, the ligand dissociation occurs to give you the product but it is also true that uh, the associative mechanism in case of octahedral complex is very much uncommon because octahedral complex is already sterically hindered and accommodation of another ligand is very difficult task and indeed the reaction doesn't follow this pathway so what is the mechanism of this reaction so in this case one thing you can uh, remember or recall from your organic chemistry is the U1CB mechanism what happens for U1CB mechanism is that your base first deprotonate uh, from one particular center and then this anion undergo the elimination reaction in this case the similar type of thing occurred that is your OH minus will first deprotonate from any of this ammonia ligand to give you this so in this case the four uh, uh, the remaining four ammonia will be as it is but one of the ammonia ligand now becomes the amide and uh, then Cl minus is there so overall it will be uh, in this case positive okay because uh, this uh, from this ammonia ligand we can write like this 
one of the ammonia ligand we can write like this and this OH minus is taking proton from here so it will go as water molecule now you can see when it becomes a uh, from dipositive it becomes a monopositive complex now the dissociation of this uh, metal chlorine bond is easier because in this case uh, due to the presence of um, uh, less positive charge or more negative charge it will facilitate the ligand dissociation and uh, it will easily dissociate to give you this uh, NH3 4 and NH2 so overall it will be 2 plus now what happens the water molecule is there in your medium so this water molecule can combine with this to give you this product so this is the mechanism which is followed in this case now you can see there are uh, three steps in this reaction the first step is the uh, reversible deprotonation from this ammonia to give you this conjugate base so this is the same like conjugate base and uh, this mechanism is called SN1CB so substitution first order conjugate base mechanism so in this case you can see this is one step where uh, the deprotonation occurs and this is a reversible step after that the dissociation occurs and then the combination of water molecule now in this case the rate determining step is this step this is the RDS where the ligand dissociation occurs but now uh, if this is the RDS then the rate uh, should be unimolecular but why it is showing the presence of OH- minus in the rate equation because the concentration of this particular molecule which is undergoing the dissociation that is dependent on this step because if this deprotonation step doesn't occur you cannot have this molecule and if you cannot have this molecule this step cannot occur so basically uh, due to the uh, this reversible step the OH- minus is involved in the rate equation so uh, this is a very important uh, reaction mechanism and uh, most frequently the questions from CSI net exam or gate exam are asked from this particular topic so uh, in the previous year or uh, the last year this question was came in the CSI exam so you should uh, understand this topic very carefully now there are uh, further uh, evidences that uh, this reaction indeed follow this conjugate base type mechanism so what are the evidences now i will discuss uh, one or two of these evidences because that will uh, give you more insight about this mechanism so uh, so one thing we have seen that for undergoing this sn1 cb mechanism one essential requirement is that uh, in your complex there should be such ligand which poses some proton now let's say we take this one cobalt pyridine whole 4 and cl2 this is overall plus because uh, cobalt in this case uh, tri-positive and uh, this chlorine is giving two negative charge now that means in this case there is no such uh, proton present which can be uh, deprotonated by uh, putting some base and indeed it is found that when you react this uh, compound with uh, water molecule and when you react it with uh, some base catalysis let's say OH minus the reaction occurs to give you pyridine whole 4 OH uh, whole 2 and uh, in this case positive this reaction occurs in both cases but there is no difference in the rate so this uh, implies that in this case due to the absence of that uh, uh, proton source the conjugate base cannot form and that's why the rate increment is not there if the reaction uh, would follow the uh, associative way then uh, there is no problem of associative mechanism for this particular complex so uh, uh, the rate should increase but as the rate increment is not there it uh, clearly implies that the reaction follow the conjugate base type mechanism now uh, there is further uh, evidence for that for example when you have uh, this complex uh, like uh, this cobalt and uh, here you have uh, uh, NH2R like this uh, primary amine of uh, whole 5 and you have uh, let's say for example Cl okay so this complex is overall it will be too positive now when you uh, do this reaction in presence of OH minus H2O you already have seen that this reaction will give you NH2R and here you will have OH overall 2 plus now uh, if we do uh, we can do this reaction in presence of some other nucleophile for example azide okay so 
if the reaction follow the associative pathway then there is no chance that this azide will be incorporated here but if the reaction follow the conjugate base pathway then after formation of the thai coordinate complex this azide can also attack on the on the thai coordinate complex so what i am trying to say is that if the reaction follow the conjugate base type mechanism then first the deprotonation will occur and you will have this uh, thai this complex first uh, this is overall 4 and nhr and cl now uh, this is reversible step and after that this uh, dissociation occurs to give you this uh, five coordinate uh, complex nhr this five coordinate complex you will have now on this five coordinate complex either your water molecule can attack or your azide uh, sorry this is your azide it can also attack to give you this n3 and finally this is nhr whole 5 overall 2 plus this type of complex uh, it can so here you will have uh, 2 plus so here you will have plus and here you will have 2 plus okay so finally it can give this now when the reaction is done with uh, uh, excess amount of azide it is found that this uh, complex is also forming so this again proves that uh, this azide uh, is incorporating from this particular intermediate because you know azide is not basic it is uh, it is a nucleophile but it is not base so this azide itself cannot uh, do this deprotonation step this deprotonation step is done by this uh, hydroxide ion and then uh, after formation of this five coordinate complex this azide as it is present in excess it can attack to form you this complex and indeed it is found that when you replace this azide by perchlorate or some other uh, weak nucleophile then also you can uh, get incorporation of that nucleophile in the final product so these all things prove that uh, this um, mechanism follow the conjugate base type reaction now uh, these are the examples uh, you have to know from this particular topic and i will uh, recommend you uh, to read the book uh, by Hui uh, on the chapter, uh, the chapter on the uh, su substitution reaction mechanism on the coordination metal complex because I discussed all these things from that particular topic and if you read the book, the concept will be more clear to you and this is a very important topic, you should understand it very, uh, very uh, efficiently. Uh, because there is a very high probability of asking question from this topic and I hope that I am able to make you understand this topic and if you like this video then give thumbs up and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel and thank you for watching.